Hello everybody and welcome back to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. As you can see, I'm at the OL Stadium, uh, which is uh, the venue for tonight's game, Italy versus New Zealand. A very, very big do-or-die game for New Zealand against opponents who have never really given them too much to worry about, but uh, a lot riding on this game and uh, New Zealand really can't afford uh, to slip up. Uh, kickoff is in still quite a while, about three, just about three or four hours to go at the stadium very early and uh, watch everybody get ready for later. And uh, we've just seen a bit of an update on Malcolm Marks, uh, who has posted on Instagram and has officially completed um, his surgery and does look to be home. So uh, for those of you who um, are uh, sort of just catching up with what's happening with Malcolm Ox, and uh, if you haven't been around the last couple of weeks, uh, he was ruled out of the World Cup with a long-term injury, uh, knee injury, which apparently happened in during training when his knee was caught in contact and um, suffered a, 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 we don't actually know what the injury was and um, apparently it was quite, so obviously quite serious and was ruled out of the World Cup as a result of it. Um, so we sort of, when it comes to a serious knee injury, we can confirm it is his right knee. Um, we don't know if it's, if it's an ACL or, um, you know, what, or, or, or what's, what's actually happened, or MCL, anything like that. We don't actually know what the, 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 the injury is. Um, but uh, long-term injury sort of generally sort of, sort of starts to fit that sort of category and we're probably looking at about nine months return for him, which uh, means September now will put him into about mid-year next year. Um, so, yeah, hopefully in time for the next year's international season he can get sort of back into action and uh, the big hope, I suppose, is that he gets back and gets back to fully fit. I mean, we've lost one of the best players in the world, let alone probably the best hooker in the world. Um, but the good news is he has posted on Instagram that the um, surgery was successful, that he is home, and uh, the road to recovery does begin now. Um, yeah, the only update we have, the only reason we know it's the right knee is because that's what's all uh, bandaged up and trapped up. Um, so as soon as we get more details on exactly what the surgery was about, as well as sort of what the recovery time will be and, and what he needs to be able to do to come back, we will let you know. Uh, but the good news is that apparently the surgery has gone well and uh, yeah, now starts the tricky road to recovery. And we do see more and more people coming back from the injuries. I mean, Sia Khaleesi, for example, his injury, his entire World Cup was in doubt with a knee injury beginning of the year. He's come back, looked absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, one imagines that uh, Malcolm Marks probably got the best of the best when it came to surgeons in South Africa. It has undergone that surgery. He is back at home and, uh, and recovering. And uh, hopefully we will see uh, him again. He's, he's still young enough is the nice thing. He will make another World Cup, so we should be able to see him in 2027 once again. Uh, I think the entire rugby community feels very deprived that he's not playing in this World Cup and that he was ruled out. Um, because he is one of those players. He is in the same sort of caliber as an Anton Dupont, for example, um, in terms of the, 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 first of all, how important they are to the team, but in terms of players that people want to watch, you know, people, players that draw a crowd. Um, he's an absolute superstar of the game, despite being very quiet by nature, an absolute beast of a player, and, uh, and, and the tournament is definitely poorer by not having him in it. So hopefully it is going to be all good for him, and then he'll be able to recover quite quickly and get back onto the field and he'll get back to his best. But for now, it's a long road to recovery. The Springboks did not replace him with a hooker, in, instead bringing, uh, well, turning Mark Verstappen into a hooker, and uh, this weekend he'll actually be reserve hooker. He's actually in the number 16 jersey with Dion Free starting. Uh, so it's very interesting to see how the Springboks have responded to that Malcolm Marks injury uh, in that they didn't really replace him um, but yeah as I said as soon as we get more updates we'll bring you guys uh, all the latest news there but before, until then please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is Steven I'll chat to you soon